Hello, welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. We're doing the mage specializations, or unlocking them anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, unlock the specializations and show the cutscene of the mages walking in, and then we'll dive straight on to the first one of the specializations, uh, saving before we dive into it. And then as soon as I've got the ability to, uh, to go back, we're going to do the other one. So we're going to go through Night Enchanter, Rift Mage, Necromancer, all in one bog. Alright, so that's the specializations. You need to go to the Ferelden area. Boom. Did you see the message I sent? Yes, thank you. Let us begin. leave there and then we see some mages popping in But, um, yeah, there we are. There's the mages. So we've got Commander Helene, uh, who does the Night Enchanter. We've got your trainer who does the Rift Mage, and we've got uh, Vias Anaxus, who does the Necromancer. Right, so on we go with Commander Helene, once we've saved at Skyhop. Save there. Commander Helene. Hold and declare, Inquisitor. What do you mean? I ask your intent. I was summoned to oversee training, and I would know my charge. I am your commander in this matter. Commander Helene. Thank you for coming, Commander Helene. Commander will suffice, recruit. I teach the skills of the Knight Enchanter. It is a rank. It is a life. Understanding its hierarchy is the first step. You already know this. You were not made Inquisitor and then taught to lead. I will teach you how to rise to your place. How to join your warriors, spectral blade in hand. How to command the ranks while standing beside them. Are you ready? Elf as a human rank? Commander is a title I associate with human forces. Knight Enchanter has roots in elven tradition, but it has utility in every tradition. There are no borders for the mage who wields a spectral blade. There is respect, and there is fear. Where have you served? Who granted your rank? What forces have you served with? I cannot say. Then how do I know you're capable? You know because I have told you. And I will teach you the same authority. Uh, why is this a good discipline? Tell me why this would best suit me. I cannot. Only you know if you are fit to lead with more than maps. Do you have the metal to raise a blade in Grand Malay? Oh yeah. Have your presence make heroes of your charges. Oh yeah. This is a path for leaders. You tell me if you are worthy. Show me what's evolved. I'm ready to learn what you know. Then we will begin the simple steps, recruit. And we shall see what heights you reach. You have a task, a simple construction. Go, learn, and return. Soon you will lead from the front. Soon you will command. Okay, so Way of the Night Enchanter. We are going to go to there first. It's going to be a little bit of traveling and a lot of killing at some point, but we're going to get to that later. First things first, when you come from your throne, I had to look this up because... Like I said, I've not got this all set up yet because this is basically only just here. 
But come to this door and go up the stairs. Over to the window. That little thing that you can see over there, that is the way of the night enchanter. So, first things first, journal. Turn that on. Read. Right, materials are made super simple with the Black Emporium. Just go by yourself, it just makes it so much easier. Because you don't need to go scouring all over the place to get your 10 whatevers anymore. Um, you only need tier 2 materials for your specialisations and he has all of them, uh, or at least a good chunk of them. Um, which makes things a little bit easier that way anyway, so... Wait. Yes, they are. I have quite an extensive library on the history of forbidden magic. Lazurite is what we're looking for. You can get this from ba -ba 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 -ba. the Western Approach, the Exalted Plains, or the Hissing Wastes. And it's a repeatable quest from the Hissing Wastes as well, so is that or you can just spend 84 cash per one uh, just to prove that it works there's one uh, two three four five six seven eight nine ten boom that's that done right whisk it's back there essence fellow Maya you want to go to we actually do want to go over there, but first, uh, we're assembling the chick squad, so there we go. It's what I call my all-female troop, my uh, mage is a female, just happens that I prefer running with uh, Vivienne, I'm the other rogue, Sarah's a just nuts. <laughs> and Cassandra's a really good uh, tank with the weapon that she's got, which generates guard whenever she hits anything, which is just fantastic. So, it's all good. Right. There's a bit of walking involved in this, and in fact, quite a bit. One of those things, but um, if you can, don't go in the water. There is a point where it's impossible to avoid, but if you can, don't go in the water. Ignore the rhino. It's called something else in the game, but it, it, it is a rhino, so. for those which are a little bit different to everything else but 
let's put chain lightning on it. vulnerability that's fine loot it and we get the wisp essence Right, the next one is a little bit further back, so it involves going back to there. So you don't need to heal up, we'll just go back. And then go to... I don't want to put the rift on the map, but we're going to meet someone new. No sign of the Avar who wants to challenge me. Or the Inquisition soldiers. They better be fine. And the ones who took them, they won't be. That dude over there, you can just see. He's uh, in the multiplayer, uh, Skywatcher. He's uh, a multiplayer character that's just dropped. So, yeah, that's, that's a thing. We're going that way. here and you can see what we're going for we have a pure wisp wisps and a bear so do that, do that, do that, and then that. Sweet. And the next one is a little bit more evolved to go to, but uh, we'll get there. All right, so go underneath here. That's always there, unfortunately. Alright, I did say don't do it, but we're going through the water. 
disengage. So the area where we're aiming for is actually over here, but um, there isn't really a straight shot to it that's, that doesn't involve going over a lot of land and probably incurring main quest thingy what's it's which I'm not really too interested in at the minute, so we've just done that. Go over to the windmill. And that's what we're looking for. to the requisitions table. And craft a spirit blade help. Turn to Commander Helene. Uh, and that should make things slightly easier to deal with. Especially for a mage, but I don't know. Right. You have completed the order. Learn something of my way. A small step. Now you must choose to commit to the role, to the burden of command. Are you willing? I am ready to listen and learn, Commander. Yay. Then you are a recruit no more. All will see your rightful place. Come, the battlefield awaits. Night Enchanter. Sweet. And that gives you uh, 
that acts in chance pathway. Uh, summon blades from the fate are experts in protection and defense. So let's have a look, shall we? Right, you got the blade that basically makes you immortal. So create this um, blade of solid magic to make melee attacks against nearby enemies by passing their guard and barriers. Wonderful. You deflect incoming projectiles with spirit blades, sending a shockwave of energy back in the attacker. <laughs> yeah, that's what. Uh, Fey cloak. Magic of the veil itself. You are briefly invulnerable and can pass through enemies unharmed. Upgrade. If you rematerialize inside an enemy, they're blasted back with 1,000% weapon damage. Uh, yes, please. Uh, okay. So get near people and your mana comes back quicker. Resurgence. Tier 1. Glyph heals 2% per second. 10% per second. 5% per second. To restore you and your allies. Continuing all party members are healed to full health. <laughs> uh, Round your party. Oh wow, that's just veiled repost. Whenever you have a barrier active, enemies who attack you will take damage in return. <laughs> uh, you draw back the energy released by your enemies and your attacks against them. Any successful attack strengthens your barrier. The more damage you do, the more powerful you're at. So that with that means that your if you if you crack a barrier before you do anything else you're going to get basically immortal uh, you're adept with defensive magic barriers you create take longer to naturally decay with that every time that you damage something it's going to increase your barrier <laughs> you fill an area with magical energy that slows and weakens your enemies Enemies larger than the field are immune, so dragons. But there's, say, three, four, four passives. Uh, you've got the focus ability, which is super cool. And one, two actives, which are going to be pretty damn cool to um, I would, with this as a starting point, probably respec and put barrier, uh, elegant defense, peaceful aura, guardian spirit, and try and get down to that. So recover mana or stamina more quickly. So, yeah. Probably uh, one, two, three, four, five, six skill points to get down to rejuvenating barrier. Uh, probably fully outload this. Take immolate, flashpoints, clean burn. Uh, maybe down to fire mine. Winter's Grasp, because why not? It's awesome. Um, not sure about Blizzard, but... And try just to take everything in this. That makes it useful. Whatever effect of ability that your current weapon has got, you can demolish someone that's uh, vulnerable to that element type, if you know what you're dealing with. And Chain Lightning is just funky for all sorts of reasons, not to mention Stormbringer. Anyway, that's Night Enchanter and how I would probably go about getting, uh, getting that specialization. So, yeah, I'll be back in a little while with Rift Mage. So I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching and see you in a bit. Bye.